and it sucked, but I got through it. And so I want to show you my journey through a bladder infection as a urologist. <laughs> So I recently had the unfortunate experience of having a urinary tract infection, a bladder infection, and I documented it on my Instagram. And one thing about this as a urologist who sees and treats tons of individuals, mostly women who deal with recurrent or frequent UTIs, it is very humbling as a specialist have to deal with that. The same thing that tons of my patients complain about. It actually definitely makes me more empathetic provider. And I had to put my money where my mouth is. I had to use my own advice that I tell patients when they deal with a urinary tract infection. And I'm proud to say that I did it and it sucked, but I got through it. And so I want to show you my journey through a bladder infection as as a urologist okay so this might be TMI but I think I have a UTI y'all it really freaking hurts to pee and I gotta put my money where my mouth is because I tell my patients all the time and I feel like one of my patients now um, give a urine culture take something to ease the symptoms but wait to take antibiotics until after the urine culture is back so that's what I'm about to do I got some Peridium and I'm going to do a urine culture tomorrow and we just going to have to pray over this urologist's bladder. Okay? Okay. So somebody asked if you can take Peridium before you give a urine culture and the answer is 100% absolutely yes. You can take Peridium before a urine culture. Culture is the key word. Peridium does nothing to affect the growth of bacteria in a culture medium. So you can feel better and do a culture. The problem is a lot of places do urinalysis, may not do a culture, just do a urinalysis reflex. A urinalysis is unreliable in the setting of peridium. You need to get a culture if you have a suspected symptomatic UTI every single time, every single time, okay? So yes, you could take peridium, feel better like I did and I'm gonna do a culture this morning okay so still pissing orange still hanging in there waiting for the culture results I appreciate all the well wishes y'all have sent me about to get into the OR because I still got to push through life has to go on so actually we're so conditioned to like take antibiotics for everything and we're conditioned that we need to take antibiotics immediately for UTIs but the truth is we can hold off in fact you might be able to treat your UTI symptomatically without antibiotics which is what I'm actually trying to do right now I have not been taking antibiotics and I've just been using peridium to control my symptoms and actually my symptoms are probably 80% better already most healthy adults that don't have an obvious urologic abnormality or neurologic problem affecting the bladder their bodies can naturally clear out the UTI without the need for antibiotics. And you can just get away with treating the symptoms. And not everybody can afford to wait. There are few circumstances where I do not wait, okay? Neurologic patients who have uh, neurologic bladder issues, I will probably not wait. A patient who has known history of um, a severe kidney infection or sepsis from a UTI probably will not wait. Somebody who has hardware in their urinary tract or some sort of a prosthetic device or some other complicating thing, um, there are certainly people that a few circumstances where you do not wait. Pregnant people, that's a huge circumstance where you do not wait. In fact, that's the only time um, that we really can base treatment on a UA with out a culture is in pregnant patients because of the risk of premature labor with an untreated urinary tract infection. So by the time my culture result came back, it was day six or seven and actually all my symptoms were gone. <laughs> my symptoms were completely gone. And so the culture came back positive for the most common cause of all urinary tract infections, which is number one, E. Coli. And so I didn't actually take antibiotics. I was 
good. I felt normal. So that was my journey. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, please do at Dr. Millhouse. Tell me what you think about this video. Have you had this experience? Those of us that have unfortunately recurrent or many bladder infections, you know, let me know. What do you think? And as always, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell, and don't miss another moment of tips and education down there with your favorite urologist right here.